So welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a video in quite a while. Well, I say that in every single video. So today I'm going to be doing a um, review on the Rimmel Stay Matte Lipsticks. I was lucky enough to get sent um, a box I see a box of them, that sounds like I got sent like 15, like, <laughs> I got sent like 5 I think? Yeah, but I got sent 5 lipsticks, so I thought, let's do a review on them, um, on my first impressions, and I love lipsticks, so I need to show my love to lipstick. Um, the one I'm wearing at the moment is Rose and Shine, so you'll see it later on. Yeah, let's get to it! My hair! It literally looks awful at the moment, so please excuse the ugly roots. Like, look how much rootage there is going on there. But I will be dying it soon, I promise. And also, it needs a cut. <laughs> what is this? What is this? So, the colour I've got here is called, um, where is it? Rose and Shine. Um, it looks really pretty. So let's give this one a go. It looks very nice and nice pink colour. I'm feeling hopeful of this colour. It applies quite nicely. The brush, like, it's not the nicest brush ever, but well, when you look at it, it's not. Um, I think it'll definitely help more having a lip liner or something. Uh, but it's applying quite nicely. It's got quite a nice um, finish to it. It's really hard to do the edges because you don't have a lip liner. So. Look at these seagulls! Oh, I actually really like this colour. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, it's kind of pretty. Um, so this is Rose and Shine. Rose and Shine. I don't know what that one. I haven't even done the other ones yet, and I feel like this is my favourite one. A really nice finish to it. It's quite, it's not too thin, it's quite thick when it goes on. Um, yeah. This is, uh, I'm liking this. Uh, I don't actually know how much they are, but if they're Rimmel, they must be quite cheap. Um, so the next one I'm going to try is Coral Sass. I like that. Sass. Sassy Sappy. Hitting you with the Coral Sass. I don't know if this colour's going to suit me. I don't really suit colours like this. Yeah, look at that little smear of lipstick on me. If I keep looking down, it's because that's like where the screen is for me because on my camera it doesn't have a flippy out screen anymore so I just keep looking down like is it in focus? Whoa this is bright. This is sassy. This is coral sass. Oh my gosh I literally go on about this to everyone but I just don't know whether to go to uni or not. I just want to rant about it and this will do. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go you know. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You can't go over the air without Sassy Sappy. Well, I don't know why I always I can't talk quite right different. I don't know why I always refer to myself as um, like Sappy. Sappy. I'm not sure this one applies as well as the other one. It's a bit streaky. The one before this, I definitely felt like that applied a lot better. I don't know, this one feels a bit more patchy. Um, but maybe it needs drying. I do feel a bit sassy in this colour, not gonna lie. My views on this one, it's a good colour, like really nice colour. Um, one I didn't think I would like, but I actually do. Um, but it just doesn't, it's a little bit patchy. It's okay, but not amazing. I have actually tried one of these lipsticks um, before I did this video, and just so I could test what the last in power was like. And um, it's actually really good, especially for affordable, high street lipstick like this. I think I was like eating, I was doing loads of stuff and it still was on my lips and everyone always is going crazy over the Kat Von D lipsticks and say the Last and Power is amazing on it. Unless it's just the colour I've got but the Kat Von D lipstick I've got when I eat like just a little bit the lipstick's completely gone, it's just a rim on my lips and then with this one I didn't get that so yeah. I still love the Kat Von D lipsticks, don't get me wrong, although I only have one of them, but um, yeah, this one definitely has a good lasting power, so that is one good point. So this one is called Pink Bliss, this sounds bliss. I literally never know if I'm in focus, I'm pretty blind myself, so for all I know it could be completely blurry and I don't even know. 
Mm, this is quite um this colour is like quite a nice little just like everyday sort of colour I think. A nice shade of pink. I love pink. See this is why you need lip liners because <laughs> your lips start looking really weird. <laughs> this looks so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna bother reapplying it. I literally <laughs> look so weird. <laughs> Sorry. So I've overdrawn my lips by mistake. But this is pink bliss. It's quite a nice little, just little, little pink colour. This definitely applied a lot better than the coral, coral sass. What I like about it, it's not, like some matte lipsticks that are really matte and really drying and this stays quite nice, like, it's like a little bit sticky but not too sticky. You don't go on your lips like, oh, this looks horrible. Like, it doesn't feel like that at all. Okay, this one's called Pink Blink. So I'm gonna blink that pink out of my lips. Sweat. Did I already try this one? I it literally looks the exact same as one. Maybe this one is a little bit more of like a natural colour. Yeah, because it looks like basically the same colour on my lips, just emphasising it a bit. Again, I'm not really sure if I like this brush or not. It's not awful, but it kind of feels a bit cheapy. It is a high street lipstick, so I won't expect too much with the brush. It's quite a pretty colour. It's a nice, like, again, an everyday colour. I don't know if I see much difference in this one compared to, like, if you look at them together, they're quite... They're very, very similar. Pink Blink is a little bit more of a brownie undertone to it, maybe. I'm gonna have completely different colour lips for the ending bit. It's gonna be crazy. I uh, hate taking this off. Okay, the next colour I'm using is... Ooh, I don't know why this is making me laugh. Um, it's called Be My Baby. Because I want you guys. That's why it's my last lipstick colour, because I want this to be my baby, I want you guys to be my baby, I want everyone to be my baby. You know what, I'm gonna, should I name this video, be my baby? Oh, I hate it already. Let's give that a chance. Well, when you've already had like other lipstick colours on and you try and reapply a colour that's a lighter shade, I don't know if you ever feel that, but it just looks... It just looks really odd. I don't know if it's because you're used to the other shade or because it still has like a little bit of res residue from uh, your previous one. It just looks really weird over the top. If I tried this on first, maybe it might have made more sense. Mm, I'm not feeling this colour. It just looks really weird on me. Like I can imagine it looking nice on someone else, but I don't know if I'm feeling it. I won't be my baby to be my baby, but it's not to be my baby today. I don't want to end the video with this colour lips. Now that this is the last lipstick, let's go on to the next part, which is my opinions on the lips again. Overall, I think that I'm going to check how much it is actually while I'm here. At Boots, it's $5.99. Like, it's so weird. Whenever I see like a high street lipstick that's more than four pound I'm like that's so expensive like how and then I will buy like a 20 pound lipstick and be like this is so good like I don't know how my brain works it's just so weird I think it was quite good for six pound not this lipstick though I don't like this one um but I definitely think it's worth six pound um especially if you find like the perfect shade I think one of them I probably would pay six pound for it um and that was the first one I tried I can't remember what the colour was but that one's definitely worth it. The Coral Sass, um, it's worth it for the colour. I don't know why, but the it just didn't apply as well as all the other ones. I don't know what was different about that one. Maybe I got like a funny one, or maybe it's just because of the colour, just doesn't apply great with that colour. I'm not sure. I'll probably give the lipsticks overall maybe 3.9 out of 5, 4, 3.9, 4. I feel like 4 is too high. But then I think 3.9 is too low. Maybe 4. 4 out of 5 stars. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but I definitely would give it 4 out of 5 stars. So 4 lipsticks out of 5 lipsticks, I'll give it. Hopefully this video gave you a nice little insight. It's definitely worth it if you need like a 
a nice little lipstick just to just one you kind of want just like a cheap one you need a new lipstick and you have not really much money so you're just like mm, I want a new lipstick but I want it to be good um I definitely recommend trying this one. Oh, I want to do more videos now I just want to film all the time I hope you enjoyed this video give it please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and maybe I'll do more reviews or something I hope you have a fabulous week and see you soon